Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. Guess what? We got a new website, and sometimes change is a little bit hard to get used to, particularly when you're actually used to some of the old ways of doing things. This video shows you some of the main ways you can use the front page of our new website to find information very, very quickly and very, very efficiently. We try to make it as easy as possible to get the information you need as fast and as efficiently as possible. So this video kind of highlights some of the main ways you can use our search functions on our new website to find information quickly. So here you go. So on our new website, we've tried to make the ability to search really easy to do. And the first uh, thing it defaults to is this thing called Articles Plus. This allows you to search for articles on your topic as well as books, movies, magazines, newspapers, and things like that. Matter of fact, this actually will search about almost all of the library's content. So getting close to like 80 to 9% of, of the content. So if we just go in and say, let's search for marketing and Latino and consumers and do a search here. It's going to go and search uh, Articles Plus for us and find articles, books, uh, movies, newspapers, things like that on our topic here. So we can see that uh, we've done a search for marketing and Latino consumers and we can go in uh, limit by uh, type of content if we want to. If we just want to find uh, journal articles we can do that. Limit by date, uh, things like that. So you can kind of see um, the kinds of content we get here. So uh, we have 70, 1,709 results there. So you can actually go in. If you want to find more than one search box, you can just click on Advanced Search, and that gives you other options to search there as well, as, as well as limiting by language, uh, date, things like that. So that's how you would just basically use Articles Plus there. If you find that Articles Plus simply gives you way too much information and you just want to find books or videos on your topic, you can go into Alice, the online catalog there, do a keyword search for your topic, do a search there, and this will find books and videos on your topic in the Alice catalog, uh, basically books available in our library or at one of our regional campuses there. You can also use the Alice search box there to search by title. In this case, we're looking for a journal title or also called a periodical title. So we'll do this search here to look for the Harvard Business Review and use periodical title to give us more relevant information. Do this search there. We'll find the titles. Clicking on the title, we'll continue to get deeper into the Alice catalog where we'll see what formats the Harvard Business Review is available in. If we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see we also have it available electronically online there, and this link will take us to the publication in Business Source Complete. If you find your search is a little bit complicated and you've got too much stuff to squeeze in this one search box here, you can actually click on Advanced Search, and this will give you more search boxes to choose from, as well as different f fields that you can actually choose to search in in the Adva uh, Alice Advanced Search menu. If you're looking for a specific database by name, and for example, your instructor or friend or professor told you to use a particular database called, for example, Passport GMED, you can actually go to Databases, and then just type in the first part of the title. So we'll just search for Passport, and there's the resource there. If we click on Passport GMA there, it will actually link us uh, directly to the database. If we're off campus, we'll be asked to authenticate with our Ohio University ID and password before we're permitted to enter. Here you find more information about the database and what it entails, what subject it belongs to, and also uh, what uh, Ohio University campus have, have access to this database. If you don't know the name of their database that you want to use and just need a list of good resources to consult, if you click on Databases here and then click on Browse by Subject, we'll give you several options to look for. So here we can go under Subject here, and let's say we're looking for Business Databases, we click on Business, and it'll still give us the range of business databases we have available to use. Clicking on the About the Resource link will show you more information about the database, whereas clicking directly on this link here will take you directly into the database once you authenticate with your high University ID and password if you're on campus. Also on the About Resource page here, this link here will also take you directly into the database as well. If your instructor or professor has, has told you that he or she has placed something on course reserves or library reserves or e-reserves or online reserves, simply click on the course, tabs, course reserves tab there and you can search by course or by instructor. So if I'm in a nursing course, I can type in NRSE, do a search here and find, for example, Nursing 4510 and find the instructor here and find the publications that are available uh, to me that my professor has placed on reserve. If you find you need more help and more guidance in doing research, we have these nice subject and course guides right here. So if you need help on a nursing topic, you can actually type in nursing, click on the search bu button there, and find all sorts of guides to help you with nursing research.
If you want to browse all available guides in a particular area, you can actually click on Subject and Course Guides and click Browse by Subject. So if you're looking for all the, you know, basically all the uh, things on English or engineering, you click on engineering, and there's all the guides available to you for engineering. So a great way to get it, uh, some, a hold of some really good instructional content to help you uh, with the research process. The library website itself also has a very robust search feature. If you want to go up here and say, for example, you're looking for information about study rooms, you can actually search for study room and see all the possibilities that occur there. How do I reserve a study room? We'll actually take you to a nice video that actually demonstrates how to book a room in the library. If you're looking for a particular staff person, you can simply just go up here and search for them by name. So in this case, we'll search for Chad. Uh, find Chad Boninger there. We'll get some biographical information, subject areas that Chad covers, in addition to contact information and links to subject and course guides or websites that might be relevant. You can also chat directly with a librarian directly from this page simply by clicking the chat box and you'll see there's a way to contact Chad right there with the chat box that way. So good way to get in touch with your librarian is simply just to search for them by name in the, in the library uh, site search box. This video has covered the basics of using the home page of the library's brand new website. We'd love to hear from you, so if you have some input that you'd like to give to us, look for the feedback link on the library website. Or if you need help doing some research in particular, look for the need help link. We'll be glad to help you any way we can. Take care and have a great day.